our first episode of Tall Tales Game of Thrones. And now we're entering a classic. One of those games I grew up on. I haven't played it in quite a while. I do remember pretty much everything that happens in this game. But I thought it would be Detroit Become Human, Heavy Rain, and Beyond Two Souls in it. So if y'all are interested, I will play those games right here on the channel. So just comment down below. Let me know if y'all be interested in seeing me play those games on the channel. Uh, I might do Beyond Two Souls with my brother. Me and my brother have been talking about playing some games, playing two-player on the channel. Let me know also in the comments if y'all would like to see that. Let me just double check one thing real quick. Make sure everything is a go where we can get set on this. All right, we're good to go. We're good to go. All right. There's a certain scene in this game that when that comes comes on, I'm gonna have to end it there and then come back after that scene's over. If you played Heavy Rain before, you know what scene I'm talking about. It is a nudity scene. I think it's a, if I'm correctly, it's in a shower, a shower scene. So we'll see. We'll see when we get there. I just don't want to get in trouble by YouTube showing that. See, so let's just let's just jump right here. All right, let's get started. Heavy Rain. This game is a classic. I love Heavy Rain. And this is another one of those games where every decision you make affects the outcome. And that's my favorite kind of games. That's actually the games that I've been playing a lot of on this channel. And just to let y'all know, I have played Detroit Becoming Human and Beyond Two Souls. Love those games. Out of those three games, I have to say either Heavy Rain or Detroit are my two favorites. I love Beyond Two Souls. But those are my two favorites. I think Heavy Rain might lead it just because how much of a classic it is. I'm ready for, I forget his name, something Cage. He made the three games. I'm ready for him to make the next one out of the series. Press the wrong button. Oh, okay. I was getting my my controls mixed up. Okay. I'm good now. Okay. Pretty much nothing out here. To what do we got in here? Pretty much nothing. I better take a shower and get dressed before I go downstairs. So I'm talking to myself now. Oh, we look so happy in that photo. Let's see, what do we got? Anything over here? No. Let's see, what's this? gone shopping. I'll pick the kids up from school at lunchtime, and then I'll come home to get things ready for Jason's birthday party. Don't work too hard. I love you. You seem like such a happy family. What could go wrong? What could change this? Cute little bird. Let's look around. Let's explore. Oh my god. Are we gonna... Oh, we're gonna juggle. We're gonna juggle. Well, shit. <laughs> that went well. 
Come on, come on, John. Oh. Oh. Swag. You are nailing this, bro. One more time. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, shit. <laughs> I pressed square instead of circle. So instead of working while his wife's out, he's juggling with his kid's toys. Is there anything else in here I can mess around with? No. Looks like that was it. You always gotta have that morning piss. The best piss in the world is always in the mornings. You gotta remember to flush the damn toilet, man. Go take your shower. Oh god, man. Oh god, man. Nobody need to see that. Oh man. Yes, of course, we gotta shave. Good, good job, good job. Ow. Can we make him cut himself? Easy. Yes. We're doing a fantastic job, good job, good job. Perfect. We shaved. Now you gotta brush your teeth. Okay, now I think it's time for us to get dressed. Nothing like a refreshing shower. I almost feel awake. Let's go get to work. I should get dressed before going downstairs. <laughs> I'm as clean as a whistle. Time to get dressed. All right, so now we can go downstairs. I've got some time before Grace and the kids get back. Better get some work done. Tiggy. Is he not going to cook himself some breakfast? He just woke up, man. Breakfast is the most important time of the day. 
Oh, we can have some coffee. Drink that coffee, drink it, drink it. You drunk it in one drink, man. Oh, there's a birthday cake. Now we'll have some OJ. Nothing better than some milk and then some OJ. What else can we mess around with in this house? We're getting a lot of work done right now, for sure. Same as a tiny ass TV. Wait, wait, what's this? I can't see what it is. It's never, oh, it's a book. What is even on the TV right now? So I think that's all in the living room we can mess around with. There's some presents for... I think he said Jason's birthday? See, I'm going to explore outside real quick because because I'm afraid if I start getting work done, I'll cut to the next scene. So let's just go outside real quick and. Yes, continue to play. Don't get your work done. See, this is probably what every stay-home dad does. Well, every dad that works from home. It's what I would do. Uh, I don't see anything out this way. So nice and peaceful. So nice and quiet. How about some music? I hope Grace found a present for Jason's birthday. Man, you talk to yourself a lot. Oh my god, they just pulled in. Dad! Hey, Dad! take it easy, you're gonna knock me over. Uh, so this is your big day, huh? Am I grown up now? Hmm, ten years old. That's not exactly grown up, but you're getting there. Now, can I drive your car? And I think oh, you shit. have to wait a little while for that. I'm coming. Okay, let's grab. Okay, press X. Okay, just don't drop any. Just don't drop any. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Yes! We got it. They've been so excited since this morning. I could hardly keep them in line in the supermarket. How's your day been? Managed to get any work done? Uh, not really. <laughs> I tried, but I didn't really nail it. Did she just shove me? Because we're supposed to be presenting the plans to the clients next month. Ugh, I've got a billion things to do. 
It'll never be ready before Jason's pals arrive. Can you please help me? Uh, there should be plates in the living room cupboard. No problem, leave it to me. No problem, -o. I got this. See, which cupboard are you talking about? See, is a... Hey, Ethan, I thought I asked you to take care of the plates. I I'm working I on it. They're in the living room cupboard, right? <laughs> yeah, they haven't moved since last time I asked. Okay, so this is the living room. Okay, so... The... Oh, there's the thing for the music. It's turning some music on. Thought she said living room. That's the living room right there, isn't it? I I'm very confused. Where? Ethan. I don't know if I've already told you this today, Mrs. Mars, but I find you very attractive. You're not so bad yourself, Mr. Mars. We nailed the kiss. Good job. Good job, Ethan. I know what's on your mind, Ethan. But now is not the right time for it. Shame. <laughs> I've really got to focus on this party. We'll continue this little conversation later. Did you find the present for Jason? Yeah, I uh, picked it up from the store this morning. Oh, we were lucky. It was the last one in stock. Oh, where? Where? When are Jason's friends coming? Oh, uh, about 2 p.m. Oh, God, I hope I'll be able to keep the situation under control. Not like last year. Jason looks happy. Yeah. It's hard to believe he's 10 years old today. Oh, my God, there it is. Only yesterday, we were flirting in high school. That door is always sticking. Give it a big tug. I walked past it like five times. I thought she said living room. Be careful, okay? Don't worry, I wouldn't want to be responsible for a diplomatic incident with your mother. Hey, Ethan, you said you were going to be careful. I'm sorry, I'll be more gentle. <gasps> okay, okay, we gotta be gentle, gotta be gentle, gotta be gentle, gotta be gentle. Perfect, there we go, okay. Gentle, yes, okay. All right. Oof, it's stuffy in here. I should get some fresh air in the garden. <laughs> Can I do anything to help? No thanks. I should be able to manage. All right, so we'll go outside then. I think I'll go outside and play with the kids. Oh yeah, doors right over here. That's it. I'm free as a bird. Hey, five minutes, boys, okay? After that, we've got to eat because your friends are going to be here okay, soon. Okay, we promise, Mom. Well, who wants to go first? Me first! No, me, me first! first. <laughs> Easy, fellas. You can both have a turn. Well, since it's his birthday, we got to go with him first. All right, Jason. Let's Jason. get the helicopter. Just don't throw him in the window. Just don't throw him in the window. Don't throw him in the window. It's my turn now. It's 
Okay, Sean, get ready. Here we go. Just don't drop your kids. Don't drop your kids. This time you're done for. You better pay for all your crimes. Ha! <laughs> Surrender, weakling. Say your prayer. <laughs> He's just not letting his son win. <laughs> Maybe I should let my son win this. We'll let him win it. He's like, honey, I was really knocked out. Sean? Lunch is ready. I'll go get him. Why isn't Sean at the table? He should be around here somewhere. Sean, where are you, Sean? Oh, there he is. Sean? What's up? It's Merlin. He's dead. He's dead and it's all my fault. No, it's not, Sean. Of course it's not your fault. I'd give anything if you could come back to life. You know, Sean, some things which just have to happen, even if you don't want them to. It's not fair, Dad. It's not fair. I know. I know. Oh god, never trust clowns. I'd like to have a quick look at some shoes for Sean. Can you watch Jason for a minute? I promise he won't be gone. Sure, no problem. We're not going anywhere, are we, Jason? Come on, honey. Jason. 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 
Jason. Jason. Why don't you do just do a fast walk up to him, dude? Jason. <laughs> Jason. 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 Jason, you really shouldn't want a rock like that, you know? There's an awful lot of people in Please, here. Please, Dad, can I have one? I'd really love to have one. Please, Dad, come on. Okay, let's go buy a balloon. He's right. like, Please, Dad, may I have one? Hey, Jim. Oh, What's God. Jason. Which I don't trust this like? clown. Uh, the red one. Here you go. It's a creepy ass looking clown to where he is. That'll be two dollars, sir. Jason, wait for me. Wait for your dad, son. <laughs> it's really crowded in here. It's always in the last damn pocket. My God. Here a second ago, I bought him a balloon. I turned around and just disappeared. Disappeared? What do you mean disappeared? Stay here. I'll go get him. I'll be right back. Jason! 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 The clown. He may have seen which way Jason went. Jason! 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 There he is. Jason! Gosh damn, man. People social distance. Jason. Social distance, man. There's a pandemic going on. Jason! Guys, Pennywise here with all these Jason. fucking balloons. Wrong way. Oh, there he is. Jason! Gosh, Jason! 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 All these fucking people. <laughs> Jason! Jason! Jesus, God, you really had me scared. Of My God, I was just over there. Should have told him to stay there and cross the road.
says, I can't even imagine what it's like to lose a child. That's just... Hmm. I thought I'd just start coughing. Heavy Rain. I'm surprised I never like made a sequel, Heavy Rain, with like a copycat killer or something like that. I think that would have been pretty cool. But like I said at the beginning, I'm ready for Cage's next game he makes. We need some more games like this worth the the choices and stuff. Let's see, we should be able to see his name soon. I just can't remember his first name. I know his last name's Cage. Everybody in the damn street, get the fuck out of the street. Like I said, I have played this game before. I love this game. It's one of my favorite games of all time. So we're just going to play this game through and see which ending we get. There are so many different endings in this game. I hope I get one of the good endings. Two years later. So I guess I missed his name when he came by. Because I know he made this game. Okay, he might still come by. I see there's more names still there. He should be the last name because he's the creator of it. Nice, Sean. Hi, Dad. You feel bad for Ethan. He tried to save his son. Now his life is falling apart. Let's see. Okay, look in the mirror. We're driving without putting our seatbelt on. Breaking the rules. Sean, don't do what your dad just did. David Cage. Yeah, that's it. David Cage. Come on, David Cage. Give us another game. Sean hasn't done his homework yet. Oh yeah, let's drink. Perfect thing to be doing right now is just drinking. Beer is good. Beer is good. 
Red Solo Cup. <laughs> he sent an empty glass in his refrigerator. He went from this nice house to this. Okay, 4.30 snack, 6 o'clock homework, 7 o'clock dinner, 8 o'clock bed. Okay, so we got to make sure he goes through his his daily routine. Let's see. Right now, it's... If Sean is hungry, he can find something for himself. What the fuck? Even no. Make Time a snack. snack. Maybe Sean is hungry. See, what do we got to make the snack? What do you say we play together for a while? I'd rather watch TV. Uh... Okay, sorry I was in your way. Do you want a snack? Where you going? Where you going, Sean? Oh, you're going to the restroom? Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry for following you. Let's see what the newspaper says. Greece has Sean this weekend. Seems like he can't wait to get back to his mother. I guess we have to ask him if he's wanting a snack. Uh, oh, there. It's time for your snack. Are you hungry? I guess uh, a little. Let's see what we can find in the kitchen. Okay, so we can get him, give him some fruit. Here, Sean. Here's your snack. Thanks, Dad. All right. So, see. So, homework is at six. Right now, it is. We're close. Close to homework time. Let's go use the restroom. Guess we don't need to use the restroom. Let's go take a look upstairs. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Okay. Turn back around. Let's go see what this is. Looks like mail. Bills. Bills. See what I say? Parents came home from church. All their children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged. But it was all to no avail. The children had never been seen again. That is fucked up. Bless you. Oh, no bathroom. Okay, I guess we're going to use the restroom in here. Got six men. Wash your hands. Use some soap, man.
Man, Ethan, turn on some better music, man. Turn on some Event Sevenfold. Okay, I think it's about time for homework. Just make sure I'm looking here real quick. Oh, workroom. Hey, stop messing around or I'll never be able to film you. What do you want me to do? I don't know. Oh, yeah, Jason, tell me what you want to be when you grow up. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a fireman or an astronaut. Oh, wait, wait. I know. I'll be a dinosaur hunter. I'll make video games. There you go, kid. And here's the most beautiful mother in the whole wide world. Oh, well, Ethan, stop. Don't film me. You know I don't like it. Hey, Dad, <laughs> film me. Film me. I'll show you how fast I can run. Yeah, me too, Dad. I can run really fast, too. <laughs> Poor Ethan. It's dinner time. I better make something for Sean. Oh, we missed the homework. Oh, shit. I guess you don't need to have homework today, Sean. Oh, I guess we gotta ask him if he's won dinner. Sean, do you want to do your homework now? Please, Dad, let me watch TV a little while longer. We'll do it later, okay? Uh, okay, okay. All right, I'll come back a little later. Uh, dinner. Do you want me to get your dinner? Oh, yeah, I'm really hungry. Okay, I'll go see what I can find. I'll call you when it's ready. This house is so fucking dark. It's pizza. Kids love pizza. Let's see what's popped that shit right there in the microwave. See what's cut that pizza up. Cut the pizza. Krusty Krab pizza. Yeah, I can't remember how the song goes. Krusty Krab. You can come now, Sean. Your meal is ready. I'm coming. Don't we need to get him a drink? Oh, we're going to juggle again. It's been too long. You know, if our job doesn't work out, this is what we can do. Look, Sean. Look what your dad is doing. This will make you happy. This will make hey, you proud. Dad, I didn't know you could juggle. I haven't tried it in a long time. <laughs> you think you could teach me too? Sure. I'll show you if you like. We're connecting again.
Why do you look so sad? We could talk to him about juggling. He looked really interested in it. Just show him how cool you are. This is the most awkward dinner ever. Eight o'clock is bed. Let's see what time is there now? Right now it is. It's eight o'clock and he hasn't done his homework and it's time for him to go to bed. I am sucking at this parenting thing. How are things at school? Is your teacher nice? Everything's fine, Dad. Uh, let's see, discuss. So, you wanna talk a little? Talk about what? I don't know, about you. Juggling. Friends, how things are going? Nothing special. Uh, let's see. Come on, Sean. It's time for bed. Oh, but I never go to bed this early. Okay, okay. We can... You're right, it's still early. I'll come back for you when it's time. I think I'm giving in a little too early. So let's go explore the backyard. And then we'll make him go to bed. Oh, basketball. Russell Westbrook, let's go. Oh, gosh, damn it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, son of a bitch. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck! I'm getting a little too much into just playing basketball. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, hell yeah. I am satisfied now. I am beyond satisfied. Ah, right, let's go make him go to bed. See what time even is it on here? It is. Yeah, it's about to be nine o'clock. We gotta make him go to bed. Come on, Sean. It's time for bed. I'm not tired yet. Can I stay up a little longer? Uh. Now that's not very reasonable, is it? You have school tomorrow. You have to get some sleep. All right, I'm going. Are you coming with me? Go brush your teeth and put on your pajamas. I'll come up. It's so dark in this damn house. So we are seeing everything in that room. Let's take a look at this. Hmm. That's sad. So much damn rain. I don't think I can grab it. 
There we go. Good night, Sean. My teddy. I haven't got my teddy, Dad. You must have left it somewhere in the house. Do you have any idea where it could be? No, Dad. Please, I can't sleep without him. <laughs> the one of the options is too bad. All right, I'll have a look around and see if I can find it, okay? I can't believe one of the options is to tell your kid too bad. It's like, who the fuck would tell their kid, yo, too bad? Turn the music off, my kid's going to sleep. Uh... See, he was just in the bathroom, maybe he had him with him in the bathroom. No, probably downstairs. Could be where he set his bag at. Where did he set his backpack at? I... in here see can I ask him more that's too bad Sean Time oh shit no oh no dad please I need my teddy All right, I'll have a look around and see if I can find it, okay? I meant, I meant, I thought it was like asking him if he knew where it was. See, where, where is this teddy bear at? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Did you leave your teddy bear outside? Sean wants his teddy. He must have left it lying around here somewhere. Is that it right there? Gee, it's like 10 o'clock. What the fuck was that? Oh, wait, 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 wait. There it is. Found it. I didn't see it until I turned on that light. Don't worry, Sean. Your dad is here with your teddy bear. Are you asleep?
Oh yeah, can I turn off the light? Oh yeah, oh shit, what the fuck? <laughs> what, what's wrong, Ethan? What's up? Where the fuck are we? In origami? So do we just leave Sean home alone? Oh god, too close, man. I think if I'm recalling, his name is Scott Shelby. Men at the desk gotta be able to help. Been looking for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Guess time to bribe. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Five dollars. Third floor, last door on the left, at the end of the corridor. Five dollars is how I get you, huh? So if you need any information, just slide in five dollars. Said last door, but looks like we can mess around with the neighbors. Nobody answered that one. Somebody's looking at us. Dang, this yeah, neighborhood's so fucking loud. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Wait. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings. It's over, okay? You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Oh, shit, a cop. I should have known. What do you want? A freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? There'll be other victims if we don't stop the killer. You have got to help me, Lauren. You may know something that can aid the investigation. Help you? There's nothing you can do. 
My son's dead, do you hear me? He's dead! Uh... If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right! Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? What do you want to know? How did your son disappear? He used to go play with the neighborhood kids after school. It was pouring down something awful that day. I'll never forget it. All his friends came home around five. All except him. Tell me about Johnny. What kind of kid was he? Johnny was really a good boy. Sometimes he fought with other kids who called me a, you know. In his own way, I think he understood what was going on. Tell me about Johnny's father. A loser without a job who liked to beat me after a few drinks. Hmm. He left the day Johnny disappeared. I ain't seen him since. Coward. Good thing he left. When did you sound the alarm? About eight o'clock. I began to get worried. I went all around the neighborhood. I went to the wasteland where they like to play. I went to see his friends. I called the cops about 10 o'clock. Time's up, Mr. Shelby. I hope you got what you wanted. Now get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Oh, I can grab the money. No, it's only the money. I didn't learn squat. Well, worth a try. No point in pushing it. She's not gonna. Oh shit. <coughs> That guy just forced his way into Lauren's place. Sounds like the room's getting rearranged, and not in a good way. I gotta go back and help Lauren. That guy might kill her. What do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser! You again? Looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh. Let's kick this motherfucker's ass. Oh shit. Don't mess with me, me bitch. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh 
Oh shit. Take that, you motherfucker. I'll see you again. All right. Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. Shelby got fucked up. <laughs> See who are we playing us next? Are we? Yeah, we're out. Oh. Norman Jaden. Hell yeah, we're Norman Jaden. No, I remember Norman Jaden was my favorite character in this game. So many memories coming back the more I'm playing this. that name somewhere. What was it? Blake. Lieutenant Carter Blake. Yeah, that's it. The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Goddamn rain. Hasn't stopped pouring since I arrived. I'm really gonna love it here. Video memo recording. Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. Damn, 2011. Hey, we got some clues. That's badass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Okay, don't answer me. Thanks. Okay. I guess he pointed at him. I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning. They told me to be here. Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, can you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself. Thank you. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. 
Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. No, no, of course not. That's, that's not what I meant. Tony, I don't want to see a single shit-stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. Do you have any leads? My men are going over to scene with a fine-tooth comb. The killer left anything behind. We'll find it. Listen, I I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Well, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jaden. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Is that a coffee you're drinking there? There's some in the thermos behind you. Help yourself. Pretty chilly, huh? Nobody wants to talk? When did they find the body? Excuse me, but who are you exactly? Nam and Jaden, FBI. If you want to ask questions, you should speak to Lieutenant Blake, sir. Lousy weather, huh? Does it always rain like this? It rains every fall. Doesn't it do that where you come from? Well, yeah. Yeah, of course. These cops are really fucking friendly. Strange character that Blake. Didn't seem too pleased to see me. There's a railroad track near where the body was left. Same as all the other victims. Way too many people here. They're trampling all over the crime scene. Sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the waste ramp. Damn cops, you're messing up the whole damn crime scene. lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. <laughs> A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. The victim is Jeremy Bowles. Declared missing five days ago. See reference file. His face is covered with mud. 
like the other victims. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. See, I think that's it. I mean, we already looked at that. Harry, come in. Orchid pollen detected. Probably from the flower left on the body. Very common. The pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. Very common. Traces of blood on the railroad track. Analysis confirms it comes from the victim. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Harry Connor, there are traces of blood on the fence behind the railroad line. It comes from the victim. Oh, now you get mud all over you, dude. We can do this. We can do this. I believe in us. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> 